Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am Rarquaza. Today we're contemplating uh, this game, it's called Knee Shot. Uh, it's actually one shot, I think. The O is the light bulb there. Uh, that was a joke. Alright, off to a great start. This game is a adventure puzzle game that is billed as being surreal and has unique gameplay capabilities. I did not purchase this game. It is nine bucks on Steam. Pigs bought it for me and said that uh, I should play it. So I'm playing it, and um, it has overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, you know, I guess we will uh, just dive right in. I did start the game. I'm playing on PS4 controller. I started the game, and I like at the beginning we'll get some instructions, and then I'm, the resolution it, it wants to default to like 600 or 400 by 600, which is interesting. And then there's a setting that allows you to change it to full screen, but also it advises that you play it in the it not full screen, which is interesting it to me because it makes me think that it's going to change resolutions on me, which might be bad for the video recording. We'll see. It's actually f 640 by 480. Uh, no. Yeah, anyway. So, I'm gonna hit start. Also, another thing, I tried to change it back uh, at that point, but the, uh, it said that I tried to close the game in order to change it. And restart, but it says you can't perform that action during cutscenes. You can't close the game during cutscenes. It's I'm I'm suspicious. Examine and select is A. Cancel is B. Walk will be the stick. Walk faster. Uh, right trigger. Menu is start. Inventory is Y. Reconfigure controls F1. Full screen is F8. Explore and interact with the environment and characters. Sometimes you may find an item. Once you have picked up an item, you may select it from your inventory. When the item is active, you can either combine it with other items in the inventory or use it at certain locations in order to progress. Although full screen is an option, here we go. The game is best experienced in windowed mode. Closing the game will save your progress. This game also auto-saves after some key events. That's like the scariest sentence I've ever read. Although full screen is an option, this game is best experienced in windowed mode. What is it going to do to me? Is my recording software going to be able to handle it when it, like... I'm, I'm fully expecting the, the resolution to, like, change on me. And I don't know what's going to happen, so... Anyway. Uh, protagonist. We are this cat person. And this is where I tried to exit out. But, uh... It wouldn't let me. Dot dot dot. Hello? So, also, I, I didn't make the joke earlier, but this is Undertale. Welcome to Undertale. Um, I am cat person. Nico is my name. This is a computer input password. Zeros. Access denied, alright. We gotta try... Six nine six nine is not the answer. All right. Dusty books. It's too dark to read in here. A soft glowing light trickles through the window. Can I use that to read? There's a TV remote here. Pretty good. Uh, notes. Okay. Yeah. I cannot fast travel right now. Let me go. like 80% on the volume. Some nice music, though. Nice. Door is locked. A withered plant sits here, stiff and dry. A branch snaps off. Have I acquired a, a branch? What was my, uh... Inventory is Y, okay. Television remote. It's too hard to read in the dark light. Dry branch from the bathroom plant. These can't be combined. Okay. 
pair of luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. Yeah, that's a mirror. Cool. There's no water in the toilet. The tub won't run. We're in the... the it's like time has stopped. Uh, it's... We're in... Pokemon Mystery Dungeon world. Is this a TV? Can I... Can I use the, uh... This isn't a TV, though. Input, input password. Okay, look. Door is locked. Hold on, I... Oh, boy. Escape the room! I gotta... I gotta turn on the television. To get light, so that I can read the books, so that I can get the password. Wait. In the faint light, Nico can glimpse the face of the remote control. All of them, the numbers except eight, seven, nine, and two are missing. Red eight, blue seven, yellow nine, green two. Oh, Jesus. Red eight, blue seven, Oh, I don't know how I got that. Nice. Why did the remote control... Ha Why was that the code? Ellipsis. You found me. Why? You're already too late, not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. I also, another thing I should mention, I don't know if I'm going... I Like, going into this game, I'm planning on at least playing for like... A good 45 minutes to an hour. But if this, uh, if I get it, if I'm intrigued enough by the end of that time, I, I'll continue it, you know. Um, I'm, I'm intrigued. We're, we're getting in there. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Then remember this your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. Look, this is too meta. Most importantly, Oh! There was a pop-up window that said you only have one shot, RAR. How does it know my name? <laughs> How does it know my name? <laughs> How, like, did it take it from my Steam? No, that can't be. It had to be... Wait a minute. Hmm. Hmm. There was a, like a pop-up, and I had to like a I had to press OK. The sound of a door unlocking. I only have one shot. You only have one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. Hello, anyone? TV gives off a dangerous-looking spark. All right. I don't I don't want to hurt anyone. So we're not gonna. I don't think we should use the TV remote. Oh, we use the TV remote. Dry branch to start the fire. Wouldn't the fireplace looks like it was never used? Perhaps it could be lit. Yeah, I, I, you know, it probably could be incredibly lit. That door's locked. Lit AF, as they say. Uh, that looks like a receptacle for a light bulb. I dig it. All right, so if we fail, um, I'm gonna have to like go into my Steam folder and delete the cookies that this game creates. Inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. Nico takes it. How did it know my name? I'm trying to think. That bothers me, man. It doesn't actually bother me. It's probably like. Shit, I don't know. When did I... did I... Why would it say RAR and not RARQUAZA? It would not... It, like, if it... It wouldn't just take the first four letters of my Steam name. Probably. Would it? What if your Steam name was like... Something dumb? Refrigerator's empty, just a table... Sink won't turn on. Okay, there's no water in here. Oh, you were gonna light the... Yeah, okay, I got it. I figured it out. 
Nico dips the branch into alcohol. There we go. Wet branch. Ooh, boy. And we are gonna... Ah! Oh, it's a nice blue flame. What is this? C capture this thing. Small metallic object wedged into a crack in the floor. Oh, the basement key. All right. I don't want to combine. There we go. Oh, shit. I want goat mom. Maybe you didn't actually know my name. Maybe it was just a coincidence and it was saying, you only get one shot. Rawr. That's got to be it, right? You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity. Comes once in a lifetime. That is a light bulb. Don't drop it. Okay. I have acquired the light bulb. Now, we can do the thing. Don't trip. I'm not supposed to put it in the... A large light bulb. It's the sun. Okay. Yeah, you know. It's the sun. Can I... Alright. Where have I gone? Maybe I should have talked to the computer again. The computer seemed to know what was up. Oh, and this is Homestuck right here. Fast travel. You can quickly travel to the locations you have already visited by selecting the fast travel option in the menu. The default key for opening the menu is A. Fast travel cannot be used indoors. Travel. What's left of a robot? Alright. Here we have the galaxy... Robot no longer has power. Can we power the robots with our light bulb? Are these railroad tracks? Yeah, okay. Uh, I cannot fall off. Okay, that's good to know. You never know. I can also go faster. about that. What have I done? What the hell was that? Oh, was that like a transition screen? Okay, there we go. Robots, we got them. Oh, it's a living robot. Ah! That light bulb, you are here. Me? Yes. Welcome to our world, friend. I am the most humbled by your presence. Yes! Thanks. A little lost. All right, allow me to explain some things. May I first... Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is a certain person from Homestuck. May I ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh, so you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location. Mm-hmm. Uh, just as my prophecy foretold, yes. You are the savior we have been waiting for. See, this is exactly how a character from Homestuck talks, and I can't specify the character in Homestuck that talks this way because the 
uh, my fiance, who was sitting across from me at her desk listening to her, you know, music or doing homework or whatever, she is, uh, she has not read that far yet, so, you know, you'll have to, it's the teal one, it's the not teal one, it's the, the other one, the other, like, kind of turquoise one. Is that teal? There's a difference between teal and turquoise, and I don't know which one, which of the... There's like two characters that are very either teal or turquoise. One of them's more green, one of them's more blue. Anyway, either way, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then you don't, and that's fine. You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. All right, cool. I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. Can you tell me about... The computer. The wor- this going home. Uh, mm, the computer. In the house I found this computer, it kept saying stuff like, Your actions here will affect Nico. But I'm Nico! Are those messages meant for someone else? Hmm. If I had to guess, they might be trying to pass the message to Rar. Oh, fuck! Why <laughs> does the game know my name? Rar? Ah, that would be our god. If you are here, that means Rar is here also. Rar will provide guidance for your journey. In fact, they are already have. Really? I haven't seen anyone, though. Have you not contacted Rar yet? I, I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with Rar, an ability that no one else possesses, certainly not I. Please close your eyes and focus. All right. Hello. Rar, are you there. Dude, this is also giving off very strong Pokemon Mystery Dungeon vibes, except on a more personal level, because they're actually directly addressing myself, the player. How did it get my name? Uh, I'm still trying to figure it out. Like... I don't think it's related to my Steam... It's gotta be Steam, though. That's all that it would have access to. Inlet, like, I don't, pigs? Did you, did the guy who gave it to me, like, put a... When he gifted the game to me, he used my name that... I don't know, man. I have no idea. Are you there? Yes, or that is not my name. I mean, so, if the algorithm... This is, this is the prompt, where the algorithm that figures out your name from whatever source that the game do does that from. If it got that name wrong, then you can change that name here. I don't know how it got that, though. It's possible that it's just complete random. Completely random. And, uh... I just happened to get Rar? But I feel like that's so unlikely. Uh, my, my name is Rar, yes. Oh, nice to meet you, Rar. My name is Nico. Oh, yeah, there's also, it's also funny, because a guy that I, in my Discord channel, um, is also named Nico, so, uh, this, it's not this Nico, and he's a very different person from this Nico, from what I know of this person. But, anyway. I actually heard someone! They said their name is Rar. This is incredible. Do not be afraid to ask Rar for assistance. You are the Messiah, after all. Can you tell me about, uh, the light bulb? Found it in the house when I woke, uh, in the house I woke up in. With, within your hands is our new son. Your son? What about your daughter? Uh, yes. Years ago, our previous son sat atop that tower and spilled its life into that, the land. But one day, the light went out. Oh, the world is still hanging on by a thread. The surface of this world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. It's now our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. So, like, we gotta go plug in the light bulb. But now that you are here with the new sun, all is well. You will need to restore it to the tower. That looks pretty far off. Yes, so begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh, can you tell me about this world? I'm not sure where I am exactly. I can't see you too far off. Everything's so dark. Our world was not always this dim, nor was it so broken. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. The world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now, the barons. That tower you see in the distance once held our sun. 
Oh, so that's what the tall thing was. As you go further toward the center, you will cross into the other regions. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. Can you tell me about going home? I don't mean to be rude, but I, I'm not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago. Now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world, just as my mission is to tell you about our world. I am unable to help you beyond my programming. I am sorry. I think that's all I have to ask for now. E excellent! I wish you luck. Uh, the Barons. So empty here. That's why it's called the Barons. There are, are there any people living in this area besides robots? I do not know. I was not built to wander. Not built to? So you just stand here. Must be boring. Do you at least have friends? Robot friends? I cannot desire companionship. I have not been tamed. Not tamed? There was no time. I see. The prophecy. So, what is this prophecy? Prophecy is predicted that a savior will arrive from another land. If the savior will wake up in a strange house, find the sun, and illuminate the world. Uh, what do you... What else did you see in the prophecy? You are the prophet, right? Good heavens, no. But you called it my prophecy earlier. That just means it is built into my programming. My programming is what guides me. I am a robot after all. The tower. This is like a Stephen King thing. Except maybe less dark. That's pretty dark. I mean, in, in multiple senses of that word. Can't even seem to see the top. I'm not allowed to answer. How do I get up there? In time, Rar will know what to do. Oh, boy. Alright. It won't turn on. I really don't want to run. Self-charging solar battery model N87. One year warranty included. Simply place your self-charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. Charges in seconds. No external power is needed. If the battery fails to charge, check to see if the lens on the front side has not been dislodged during transport. One charge cycle will last about 10 days. If you notice a decline within the charge is... Uh, if you notice a decline in the charge cycle within the warranty period, please contact the manufacturer. Wish I had something to pry it open with. Yeah. I don't want to break things. Ro one, a robot may not injure. This is the three precepts of robot stuff. A robot may not. I don't remember what it's called. It's from iRobot. It's not from iRobot. It's from like you know, popular. It's from whatever freaking thing it's from. But it's the three robot. Elect robotic rules of roboticness. What's the name? The laws of robotics. Three laws of robotics. Well, I mean, it's like. Yeah. All right. Anyway, a robot may not injure a li living person or through an inaction allow a person to come to harm. Two, a robot must obey the orders given to it by people except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Map of the world. Barons, Glen, Refuge, and then the big ass tower from Homestuck. All right, cool. I do not want to Can I use the light bulb to power the battery? I need to find a battery first. I just found the instruction manual for the battery. Use of a robot as a replacement head engineer seems unorthodox, especially one responsible the one responsible for last year's incident. I suppose they had to get her away from the city, but that doesn't make it easier to swallow for those of us who work here. I hope that man knows what he's doing. Oh boy, there's a lot of plot. There's going to be lots of plot, isn't there? The faded poster. Reminder to all workers, the rarest form of blue phosphor is found during the phosphor shrimp's spawn period. If you observe a pond with a bubbled over surface, please contact management. Immediately we'll dispatch a harvest team ASAP. Blue phosphor shrimp. Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and other provisions are included upon hiring. Uh, 
Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area of VLR. Our large electromagnetic field maintenance efforts are quite high as expected. We have provided customized backup cells for the V-Spore. Uh, electromagnetic fields are much weaker. Signals are highly specific. Single cells can charge... Small cells can only charge one single. The rest of the page is unreadable. Small machine. I can feel my hair standing up a little. Small growing, glowing shrimp swimming in the jar. I use my empty bottle on the glowing shrimp. I can probably fill my empty bottle with glowing shrimp. Big machine, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. There's a rectangle shaped hole. Okay, cool. Gotta find the things, put the things in the holes, get the shrimp in the freaking bottle, put the bottle on the battery, put the battery in the hole, and then that activates the machine, which powers a bridge, which lets me get to the next circle, and we can continue our journey. That's my predictions. Hey, robot. So I gotta power all these robots. Pretty neat music, actually. Very atmospheric. Why is that one on? <laughs> what if... My scarf got caught, and then it pulled me in. Can I use the empty bottle? Why would you want me to smash a bottle here, Rar? The shards would get everywhere. Rar! I am not gonna put the sun here. <laughs> Achievement unlocked chaotic evil. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's pretty good. I just, you know... It's not chaotic evil, it's just I want to be thorough, you know? It's a pretty neat factory, though. So if we need anything smashed, we can go to the smashing factory. How smashing? Are these uh, glowing shrimp? Can we use the empty bottle to shrimpify? These all look pretty much the same. Maybe there's a specific one that is particularly shrimpy. Who built this shit? This looks like a Minecraft experiment gone wrong. Seriously. Let's go up here. long expanses. There was a thing down here. The sun will not return and the abyss is calling my name. I'm sorry everyone for choosing to leave before the darkness suffocates us all. That's depressing. Glad that we went there. Metal safe locked with a six digit code. I don't remember seeing any six digit codes. All right. Although the poisonous gas is highly localized to the vent zones, Baron's workers were still recommended to wear gas masks. The, these masks were mandatory around active vent sites, of course. As more and more of the workforce got replaced by robots, we found ourselves with a surplus of abandoned gas masks. It seems like a waste to get it seemed like a waste to get rid of them all, so we kept a few for emergencies. I'm gonna need a gas mask. Music's pretty jamming. 
Wish I had a map. Do I have a map? There's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. Alright, let's not go that way then. A robot with no power, but there's a bunch of like... Three leaf clovers around it? But also a big thing over here. Big ol' arm right here. Big ol' front end loader arm. This is a house. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, let's go in here. I'm gonna get really lost. Oh, hey, it's uh, Undyne, the light bulb. So, are you, are you the messiah? That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. Or at least someone that doesn't look like a kitten. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? Nuh-uh, I'm a person. You've got the eyes of a cat. But cats walk on four legs. Well, either way, a child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. That robot back there says there's no mistake. I know. All, this is going to sound cold, but I honestly think you were better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world has been falling apart for a long time. In this manner of decay, it's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually, and we really can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here. Then you must be headed headed towards the tower. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb, uh, sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know that the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend, and the power is strongest at the summit. Maybe it will send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh! Don't take my word for it, though. Okay. Thanks for the, you know, what's your name, though? Dear Silver. Okay, now we know what her name is. I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry, I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of time before the rowboats are recalled. At least, let me know you got my message, okay? Kip. Okay, so... Please do not touch that. Oh, sorry, I just got curious. What is this thing? Backup, pow backup power cell, it keeps me functional. The main generator is for the Baron. For the Barons. Ran out of power some time ago. It could not even last a week without the sun. Sorry to hear that. All we can do is make use of the light we have. You can take it if you want. It might help you. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I have many. Thank you. Tiny shrimp. She just let me, like, go through her house and... Metal chess table. I haven't played chess with anyone for a very long time. Oh? Not even with the other robots? No. Nobody in the Barrens have that capacity in their programming. Nobody here is tamed, for that matter. What is that? You keep saying that? What does that mean? What's inside of the tower? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least nobody... At least nobody history knows. Then who built it? Built? As far as anyone, anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who wanted to study it before, but... Oh? He never told me if it went anywhere. And then he died. Or something. It's a crate. It's a bed. It's made of metal. Doesn't look very comfortable. Okay, cool. So that's Undyne. Maybe. Wait. I saw you heading towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time, but I, I cannot guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter it, it is my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks. Oh, boy. There's a little gadget on the ground looks kind of like a camera. What's left of a camera, anyway? Probably even part of a robot at one point. Oh, or not. I don't know. Sweet. Hey, we're supposed to do something with that. It was like, screw it on the battery pack, or... Do be careful in here. 
see a faint yellow glow in the distance. Don't stand so close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Looks like the entrance tunnel collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can't we walk? I can. But for you, it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. <laughs> What's ahead, anyway? It's a huge network of underground mines, the source of this world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. This is what propelled the world into the industrial age. So now it's lost forever? It's been a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were first to be announced abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have all been cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Though there was one that always insisted on going back. Oh, I hope he's okay. But now he's dead. Uh, okay, so... Right. The yellow light is gone now. Must have imagined it. Um... I don't understand how taking like a ra railroad tracks have to have a have to have ground beneath them. That doesn't make any sense. Like they just wouldn't be stable. If we go back in without her, am I gonna die? Safety violation! Okay. <laughs> nice. Alright. Got some robo-bobs. I'm assuming we'll maybe have to activate them at some point. Oh, this is the gas area. No, 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 go back down. I need like a sling. I feel like this isn't safe just carrying this around. Like this. masks. I don't know, there was like a... I didn't really explore the top of this area very much. Okay, we can smash things in there. There's also like... I think we need the screwdriver yet. Oh, this minecart, though. There's an empty cavern right there. We can go... Oh, this is the... Okay. Six-digit code. I have a screwdriver to pry it open with. Screwdriver's not nearly big enough to pry it open. What? Excuse me. You're crazy. The word profit bot is written written on the side. Didn't notice that earlier. Power cell of the profit bot. The screwdriver to pull the lens out. Done. Oh, okay, and then I'm supposed to put this somewhere. Where was that thing that said we had to. That's not it. It might be over uh, over here, or it might have been at the. Uh... It might be over at the factory. 
Simply place your self-charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. Charges in seconds. No external power needed. Check to see the, if the lens on the front side has not been dislodged during transport. Okay, so I need to put the lens on a battery pack. We need to find a battery pack, put the lens on it, and then, like, hover the sun over it or something. Hmm. I guess we'll go to the... place. The smashy place. Maybe there was something that I forgot about. I don't really need to smash the lens. That seems like a poor choice. It's got to be to my right somewhere, but I'm going left anyway. Why am I going left? I feel like there was a spot that I missed up at the top near the star house that I started in. Maybe. Yeah, I didn't go like up here, I don't think. Yeah, this is all new. Did I check the right side over here? Okay. My screwdriver went away too, that's upsetting. Hello, man. Rar, are you there? Yes. Oh good, there's a robot here attached to a boat. It doesn't seem to have power and its joints are rusted over as well. But I think we should be able to fix it. After all, we'll need to cross this ocean to get to the tower. Okay. A metal pipe. Sweet. Oh, hello. 